Val! Val! Where is she? Val! I've done it! I've done it, my love! I've been proved right! Valerie! <sighs> Bloody hell! Candy! Where the hell's your man? <sighs> This is it, Shaver Valde. We can get a nice big spread. All the family standing outside. Mr. Marshall. Got any more tricks up your sleeve? You could dynamite the house while you're at it. It's not my fault. If something is correct, you can't go blaming me. Oh, just watch me. Right side. Uh, come on, Dad. Let's get inside and calm down. I have things to say. The new regime begins, and my word is law. Maria. Get in the car, go to the home and fetch your granddad. There's no point. Do it. And you not. With your lawyers and your suits and your PhDs. Make yourself useful. Get on the phone. I want the papers and the news and the radio outside my doorstep first thing tomorrow. I'm telling the world. We could take a day or two to think. Tomorrow morning. I want everyone to wake up and find out what I've done, wherever they are. In every bed. A silent call across this town. There'll be no escaping me. Now it all starts. Recriminations. You can hide for as long as you like. After all, you didn't tell Max it was me? No, but I said there was someone else. But he doesn't know who, so we can't go tracking you down. You are safe. I can't escape it, Sammy. I have to tell the kids. None but the brave deserves the fair. And what does that mean? It means you deserve to be happy. It's from Dryden. Oh, well, thank you, Dryden. I've left my husband, but that's all right. Dryden's on my side. comes along and verifies it. Tell him, Danny boy. Uh, that's right, yes. <laughs> Apparently, yes. Uh, hooray. And according to the will, the land actually belongs to your father. It's mine. Oh, yes, indeed. And what are your plans? Milk. Free milk. A river of milk running down the valley. Come drink my milk. I will, of course, handle the estate myself. I'll be having my father declared mentally unfit. And your family must be stunned by the news. What's your wife's reaction? Oh, delighted, I bet. Absolutely delighted. It's a hell of a day for the entire family. We're in a close near. <laughs>
died. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can't we stop being naked? Behold the all. No, Dad, that's incest. You've got to behave now. You're live on TV. They've cut back to London. It's a bit early for breasts. He's all yours. Come on, 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 they all gather round. The family pulls together. That's Gethin, my daughter's boyfriend. That's Maria. Got a good job, too. Deputy bank manager. Very nice. What the hell do you want? I'll come to see if I can help. Oh, no, you want me? Now we own the town. Suddenly I'm lovely. Oh, yes. Uh, a beautiful couple. I have high hopes of wedding bells. You bastard! And again, maybe not. What have I done? What, what am I supposed to have done? What? Maria. Did your father go to bed last night? Don't have a go at me. I tried to spare you all this, but yes, I failed again. Are you at Nan's? Who told you that? I don't know. Dad said. Dad said I was with your Nan. He's gone right overboard, Mum. So hold on. Do you, do you mean he hasn't been to bed? He, he's still in the same clothes. Maria, tell me, has your father been to bed? No, he's been up all night. And he never went to bed? No! This is Vivaldi. Ladies and gentlemen, my lovely wife. There you are. I spent the night at Mum's. I presumed as much after we had that row. And here you are. I slept on the city. I thought so. And now I'm back. Thank you. The inheritors? What do you think? I don't know. Well, try being happy. I worked hard for this. A smile would be nice. comes along and verifies it. Panic. My dad's on the news. I know. He's just been on the radio. Exactly. He's everywhere. Look, it's on the paperwork. Max Vivaldi. There must be 500 documents with his name on. What, he owns all this? Does he bollocks? I set this up when I was 13. I had to use his name, got him to sign the form, said it was a school project. I never took it off. Max Vivaldi. If anyone sees this, he's surrounded by journalists. His name's everywhere. Nice one. I knew the business was secret. I didn't know it was illegal. I don't care about the law. If Dad finds out I've built up 50,000 quid's worth of business behind his back, he's gonna kill me. Town Hall. It's the Town Hall next. Just 
Follow the cars and we'll see you there. Max, my good friend, we can't let the momentum drop. It's time for the second stage. Let's get the keys to the city. Oh, and best not to bring your father. I wouldn't exactly call him photogenic. He's safe inside. I need to have him declared officially insane. Can you rule that for me? Shouldn't take long. Uh, you should take care of the will, actually. I wouldn't go waving it about. They need to see it. No, we've got copies. You should keep that under lock and key. If you lose the original, a good lawyer could seek to invalidate the copies. Could hold you up for years. No sooner said. Do you know what you've done? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really honestly sorry. I didn't expect all this. But it's worth it. It'll be all right in the end. Tell me, Danny Bavistock, when in the history of the Earth was anything ever all right in the end? Ever. What? Well, it could be worse. I mean, no one's come to any harm of this. You can't suck me. What are you sucking me for? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Daniel, the army is marching. Congratulations. There, now that's more like it. You see, Val? Someone's happy for me. God bless the Eggman. Thank you, Samuel. That's appreciated. I salute you, Max. It's a remarkable day. You've got everything. And I deserve it. I'm off now to stake my claim. I'll see you later, sweetheart. We'll celebrate tonight. <laughs> need any eggs today, Sam. Candy doesn't want to listen to eggs. We could have a word outside. I really am busy. Don't mind me, I'm an MPEG. So, what happens to you, Val, with all this success? I don't know. Do you still want me delivering? Is it back to normal? I don't know. When will you know? He's a knack. Right now, I have honestly got no idea what's going to happen. So, tell you what, you don't eat eggs no more. We're ready. Eggman redundant. Is that true? Tina the cleaner calls you the smeg man. Come dear. Tina said it, not me. Well, then mind me. I can wait. You just call and I'll be there. And I have to say, of all the people in Swansea, fortune descends upon you. It could not happen to a nicer woman. You really do deserve it, Mrs. V. Right, so what are we doing? I'll tell you one thing for starters, I am not looking after your grandfather. Big Claire's got an MVQ. That was in dental nursing. He's got teeth. That'll do for no, Big Claire. I'll give you ten quid. I'll be off then. Thank you, Sam. Rico, Big Claire will be looking after you. Is that all right? And don't go touching her. She's a family friend. Is that clear? No hands. For what reason? Fifty six Langland Street, two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Offer withdrawn. Ninety six Morrison Terrace, seventy two thousand pounds. Offer withdrawn. Fifteen Long Bevan, one hundred and sixty thousand pounds. Offer withdrawn. Is this my father? Oh, yes, it's your father. According to the news, no one owns anything. Every piece of land belongs to him. Vendors and vendees all panicking. The entire market has collapsed. It's like Orson Welles and the Martians out there. What am I supposed to do? Stop him! Halt the Martians! If you want to keep your job, get out there and stop your dad and save my bloody company, go. Right. Any invoices sent are already tough. You'll have to sweat. But this lot, print off new stationery, replace the documents, problem solved. No record of Max Vivaldi. It's going to take us ages. <laughs> it's going to take you ages. I'm off. I got 50 quid to build a wall and go sign it. But it's an emergency. Not for me, it's not. I'll pay you double. I'm building a wall. But I got school. That's what comes of being the boss. Can't hack it. Don't do it. See you around, Leonardo. <laughs> Good morning. 
and a very exciting morning it's been so far. All over the telly. Thank you for that. My name is Iris Price, leader of the City Council. Hello again, Max. Nice to see you, Iris. Now, get off my lap. <laughs> Did you get that? One more time. Now, get off my lawn. Now, get off my lawn. Now, get off my lawn. Mrs. Vivaldi? Yes? They said pub. Tell them I'm busy. They said now. My child, what the hell has been going on? <laughs> <gasps> so, does this old soak really own the town, or is it bollocks? No, really, no. Apparently, it's like bingo. Aren't you chuffed, though? Oh, I don't know. It's just daft. His talk was two quid off. That's chuffed me. But hold on. Like the biggest house in town, he could check him out and move in, because that's his house. He owns it. Well, as soon as it's sorted, yeah. He'd love a big house. Candy, you tots! Get them out! Did you see oh, me? Really? <gasps> yeah, we <laughs> saw you. <laughs> Here we are now, darling. Park your bum. Lost some girl. Easy does it. Candy says you got wandering hands. She says you touch people up like a dirty old man. I don't mind. Huh? After all these years, you finally leave that husband. Next morning, you go back. Thank you, Auntie Brown. It's not funny. I'm laughing. You did the right thing, though. Brown we spent the morning online. The Silver Surfer, they call me. And they're all talking about Max. He's the topic of the day. They're saying it might be true. God knows how. But he's bound to be due some sort of money at the end of this. You stick in there. Do so you think I went back for the money? No harm in that. That's not why. I went back because my children were stuck in the middle of that circus. I was needed. And a little bit of money. No. Oh, go on, you can tell your mum. I did not. Valerie, there's nothing wrong with money. Money's good, money helps. I like money and I'm not ashamed to say it. Can I just point out, when you were courting, Max Vivaldi promised you the world. You were a child bride. 18 at the altar. 18 and pregnant. Hell of a size, aren't you? Yes, all right. And he gave you nothing. Promise after promise turned to dust. But all of a sudden, he actually goes and does it. He's got a fortune at his fingertips. Now, you get in there and grab hold tight, girl. And if you benefit, we all benefit. Well, yes, exactly. This is more about you. And what if it is? I worked hard bringing you up. I was the finest barmaid in the Vale of Glamorgan. Where was I when Kennedy was assassinated? Working. Three-day week, working. Falklands, working. Princess Di, from wedding to funeral, working. And now, finally, I am sitting here in my dotage on a state pension, and my daughter is on the verge of greatness. Would you begrudge me a little happiness? Don't you want to see me comfy and warm, with soup on the stove and five movie channels blazing away? You have to excuse me. I've got things to do. There's just one more. If I've got an envelope and I go to close it without thinking, automatically, what do I do? Am I the sort of person who tucks in the flap? Or do I lick it and seal it properly? How do you mean? Do I tuck it or lick it? I don't know. Tuck it or lick it? Sexual frustration. They've all gone out.
Remember me? Tonka. My friends with Dave Trousers. Oh, yeah! I've seen you on the news. <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> you want to capitalise on that? Synergy, it's a catchphrase now. If you're on pointing in the right direction, I've got a couple of business ventures and to and fro to London, twice a week sometimes. Oh, that's nice. Oh, well, you've got to act fast. You won't be in the news for long. Do you do modelling? Well, I'll tell you what I do do. I'm a singer. A what sort of singer? Well, any sort, really. I don't know. Well, we could do something. I'd give you my card, but, well... Looks nice on you. Thank you. Slim. Danke, Sean. <laughs> Tight. Gracias. <laughs> well, you can get my number off dye trousers. Oh, and if my dad answers, time to take down a message, cos he never remembers. I will do. I'll see you later, then, Candy Vivaldi. <laughs> My mother was born in Swansea, never lived anywhere else, never wanted to. And she's been... Here's your mind, eh? He's all right. My mother, she's worked hard. She's had a stall on Swansea Market selling knitwear since 1974. She was the first person in South Wales to sell a Starsky and Hutch cardigan with belt. And after working like a pickaninny for 25 years to pay off her mortgage, what? You're going to march in there and tell her that's your house, is that it? What do you actually want, Max? Uh, ex excuse me, uh, but while Max does own the town, uh, technically there's not much he can do about it. I mean, <laughs> he can't be the owner, it's impossible. But I'm sure that we could find some sort of honorary status, like uh, sheriff or, or burgomaster. Burgomaster? Maybe a half-day holiday in his name. And really, compensation for the family, something to make their lives that much better. I think that's fair, don't you, Max? No. Right. I own the town. I'm king of this place. I intend to run the town and improve it, command it, on my own, as I see fit. Well, yet again, I seem to have helped enormously. I think it's only fair to give you 24 hours to digest this information. That will give you time to plan the ceremony. And that ceremony would be? The official handover. I'll call it Vivaldi Day. I can assemble the press. We've had calls from New York. I want a lap of honour, not down St. Ellen's Road, mind. That junction's a bugger. There's no one in. Leave a message. I thank you. Now, my darling. I promised you I'd be a success one day, and here we are. You should see it, Val. I succeeded. We're having Vivaldi Day. You and me. I wish we were here. Listen to this. <laughs> and that's just the start. Anything you want, my love. I'll get you anything. I thought we were going home. Since when did you call it home? And you are going to listen to me now. We are having words. Whose house is this? No one's. It's for sale. It's been empty for ages. Oh, very nice. You don't tell anyone about this on pain of death. My job's in danger as it is. Listen, clinch it. It's been on the market for three years. As the estate agent, it's my duty to point out the extensive dry rot. And for some strange reason, it's never so. Is it really dry rot? Maybe. Do you come here often? You asking me to dance? 
No, I mean... I come here when my family's drive me mad, so yes, I come here lots. And no one knows. Come spoil it. Well, thanks, Ruth. I'm privileged. You're necessary, that's all. Coffee? You'll have to have black. Is there electricity? No, but I've got that covered. Danny, I want you to explain. There are things about this inheritance that don't begin to make sense. And your flash lawyers are running around us like we're stupid. I'd like a bit of clarity, thank you very much. And then I want to find a way to stop all this and fast. If you're the only person that comes to this house, why'd you put the biscuits all the way up there? You're so not a woman. This woman at work, her grandfather died. He left a set of horse brasses. And the family's been disputing that in court for 10 years now. And that's just horse brasses. But the whole of Swansea, you've gone and proved in two seconds flat. Well, you can't do that. What about land searches and, and deeds? Yeah, yeah, but you're not going to like this. It has been proved. My dad's been waving those papers around for years. No one's listened. Well, that's because he walks to the door and looks like... Yeah. Yeah. The claim was first disputed in 1830 and a copy of the will stayed in the court records. Someone dug it up in 1963, and it's been studied by law students like a test case. In theory, they proved the validity way back. All the work's been done. And no one told us. Well, you disappeared. The Cadwalladers escaped abroad in 1843, changed their name to Vivaldi in 1910. I mean, no one's going to check the entire history of the Italian deep poles on the off chance. There was nothing to link the Cadwalladers and the Vivaldis. Until you came along, so it's still your fault. Why are you so determined it's bad news? Because it is. When you were choosing this secret little hideaway, you didn't exactly opt for a bedsit, did you? It's got nothing to do with it. You are so busy finding fault, you haven't even realised. Your family owns this. Oh, my God. The house you've always wanted. <laughs> it's on your land. Don't thank me. Was that a car? I don't know. There was a car. Well, maybe someone's come to view the house. They'd have to do that through me. Nobody else knows about this. How thick are you? Why do you think I've got two mugs? With the greatest respect, Maria, you're out of your depth. If your dad carries on with this, you're going to need lawyers, accountants. Do you know where to even start? I just wanted to stop. Do you know what the council took advice on this afternoon? How to move £900,000 to a dummy account so your dad can't get it. They can't do that. Exactly. You need me. I work there. I'm inside the bank. You cut me in half. I'm not getting back with you. Don't want to. OK. Me and you's over. I'm talking work. I suppose you could talk to Dad. That's a good girl. Max! It's the gay boy! Shut your face. Leo, come in here. I've got home work. Oh, no, you haven't. Get in here right now. I've had school on the phone. You didn't turn up. I'm not going in when my sister's been naked on the news. I was shamed. So where did you go? I don't know. Town. Where in town? He was in the gay club. Stop it! Shut up! I've had enough of this. I'll tell you where I've been, and that's lax. What's the word? Lax! I've been lax with a lot of you, and you've been running riot. Not anymore. From this moment on, come back to town, all of you, and do as you're told, and answer this. When I close an envelope, do I tuck it in or do I lick it? How do you mean? Envelopes! Now think! What's my routine? Tuck them in or lick them? Tuck them in. What makes you think that? I don't know. You just do. You tuck them in. Can I go now? Max? 
Give us a smile, Max. That's enough. Get off home. The world's gone. Uh, so it has. How you getting on, me, Claire? Actually, smashing. We've had a brilliant day, haven't we? Best of mates we are, Mr V. The world's gone. Mrs V said to make up a bed from down here for the time being. Don't you fret, he's safe and sound. Does he really own everything? Till I saw things out, yeah. The will's gone! That's right, Dad. Now then, the hub of my world. All right. Yeah, you all right? Oh, I'm... I'm doing three courses. That's nice. Tomorrow's the valley day. Apparently. I believe that's good. I still need to know. Yes, we own the land. Yes, you were right. Yes, it's been proved, but what do we get? We get the town. But practically, in material terms. Are we rich? Is that what you want? Answer the question. We are technically rich. And technically means. There's a long way to go. The lawyers have established the principle, but after that, anything could happen. But we could be rich. Is that the most important thing? For the sake of our three children, I think it is, yes. All right, then. At the very least, in some shape or form, yes. We will be rich. Well, then. Good. Happy? Yes, I am. And I suppose I should say sorry. What for? I don't know everything. For doubting you. You're sorry? Yes. Right. Anyway, I was thinking I'd better keep the will safe. I could take it down to Jimmy Max. He's got a proper safe. Where'd you put it? What? The will. I haven't put it anywhere. No, I mean the will on the wall. I thought you had it. Big Rolls Royce. Stella. Hey, the bloody Stella! Auntie Stella, pick this up. She'll not answer for me. Stella! I'm coming with you. I can tackle her. She's been inside my house. Your sister came in here and stole from me. I'm coming with you. So, what's the problem with Max and Stella? Brother and sister. But what's the problem? Well, they're family. Yes, but what's the problem? What are you, an orphan? Ask me good luck to Stella, cos you lot are thick. See those lights out there? That's the family jewels. And what have you been doing all day long? Moaning. I haven't. Bless you for being simple. Thank you, sir. Maria, have a look in the fridge. Leo, get down the offie. A wallet's in my jacket. Get some beers. Nah, no, tell you what. Get some carver. The entire town now revolves around you, and you, you daft bastards, you're gonna celebrate! But he dumped you. He did? Oh, who was that? And now he needs me, and he's back. And I can keep him jumping on a string just the way I like it. Maria! Food! Okay. Big Claire, you eat it? Yes, please. Daft question. How's my Rico? He's fine. No, it's fine. He can have some soup. 
Okay. It is a magnificent chest. It's round and smooth and firm. But you know what, Rico? My chest is sad. Because you're a lovely old man, but your family wants you declared insane. If I could help you, sweetheart, then my chest would swell with pride. We could swell together. Would you like that? On one condition. Look at us. You and me, we still are the enemy. Just like the old days. Let battle commence. So you're glad you came back? How do you mean? Last night. I only stayed at my mother's. And then you came back. Well then. For good? I did a daft sort of thing, but we all do that sometimes. And then I thought better, and then I came back, and that's that. I don't think we need to go on about it. Why not? I'd have a house right up there on top of Kilday Hill. And I'd build a road going all the way down to the beach. We could make the beach private. We could be new. We could build a restaurant right on the beach. Oh, that'd be nice. You could have your own coat of arms. Oh, that'd be great fun. Danny wins. <laughs> we could have a proper airport. Straight to Spain with my pop star pals. So, who is this pop record man? What'd he say? He was wearing a wetsuit. You'd like him. He said they could pay me 25 quid. How come I own the world and I'm eating shop. supermarket chops? Fillet steak next time. And you can cook. You can be my servant. We did that. One night. Never again. Yes, my lady. You can forget that. Forget what? That. I'm totally immune. Yeah? The Black Widow. I'll do the talking. I don't want to talk. Let's just get that will and get out again. You know what they're calling you? A crackpot with a jackpot. Oh, that's nice. From the bitch with the itch. That little problem's cleared up, thank you. I'll get inside. What's this all about? You must have known we'd track you down. No, I wanted you to be here. What for? But you know what I really got? The most important thing of all, Max. Connections. The whole of Swansea society has passed through this house. Bonnie Tyler's built Chinzano on that chair. Catherine Zeta Jones's orthodontist cousin has groped at my tiles. Lisa from Big Brother has copied my gazebo. I'm chairing the committee for the Harry Seco memorial statue. And in two weeks' time, I'm playing charity scrabble with Kylie Minogue's mother. Kylie Minogue's mother? Welsh! She's Welsh. She's not. She is. And you didn't know it. See? Connections. If you're going to run this town, Max, and you need me, I'm the key. Oh, that's what you want. Stella Town. Half of it's mine. That will leaves Erin to the firstborn son. Daughters get nothing. Stella, just give us the will and we can go. Petit moment, Valérie. You think you're capable of running this town? Is this amnesia? Have you forgotten 1979 when you bought a chip shop? It was a risk that failed. You forgot the chips? A chip shop? Well, no chips. A supplier let no me No chips. Out. Chips are off. Chipless. You're incompetent, Max. You need me. Oh, yeah. So long as I give you a slice of the pie. Never mind pie. I'm still waiting for the chip. Give us the will. Attendez, s'il vous plaît. Why should I give you half when you give me nothing? You marry a man with a slot machine empire, and that's not proper money. You might as well steal off kids. He pops his clogs, you inherit, and I don't get a bag of sweets. I gave you £2,000 in 1986. What did you spend it on? Space hoppers. Black space hoppers. Exactly. You tried to sell them at the Notting Hill Carnival and they arrested you for incitement to riot. And I'm not even mentioning the Great Hot Pants disaster. How can I give you money when you chuck it down the drain? Give me the will. And put the patience. And are you going to do the same to Swansea? 
You're going to trash you it. You were a snob when you were six years old, laughing at me and Dad and that will. Christ, you've been a snide little bitch all your life. All right, now, that's enough from the both of you. Just give me the will. And you're the same as her. All you want is the will. You want the money. You want the bloody inheritance. Is that why you came back, Val? Tell me, is that why you bloody left him? I wanted to come back. I made a mistake. Who is he? Doesn't matter. He's gone. I really came back. I really did. Look at it. I got everything. Excuse me, there's something I'd like to say. Come and have another chop. No, I've got an announcement. Although I will have that chop. But since I met your gramps, I have had the most fantastic day. Seriously. It's remarkable how two strangers can click. And I have to say that as of this moment... No. Rico has asked me to be his wife. We're getting married. I'm going to be the new Mrs Rivaldi. Thank you.